go with Thomas Clayton, running back, leading the team in yardage, and I think he's going to make it really tough on the Seahawks coaching staff to cut him. He's played really hard. You saw last week he picked up a key third and one and really put a licking on D.J. Williams, who's a starter for the Denver Bronco defense. So he may get caught up in that numbers game, but I'll tell you what, this kid with the Mohawk from Kansas State, keep an eye on number 45. Shoot and get out on the outside on the corner. And they bring in big Thomas Clayton at the tailback. Clayton gets the handoff, bouncing it outside, fighting his way and getting the first down. Good second effort by Clayton. Really good second effort by Thomas Clayton. He bounced that thing, like you said, to the outside, and he has shown this whole preseason he can make those tough yards inside, but if there's nothing there, he's shown great vision and patience to bounce it to the outside and have enough speed to get out there, and that Bronco that he ran over, I think, still a little bit dazed as they uh, attend to him down there on the sideline. An injured Bronco down on the field. Uh, it's D.J. Williams, their leading tackler for the last couple of years, slow to get up. Yeah, looks like he has a little stinger the way he's holding his arm. It's probably got a, a kind of a dead feeling in that uh, that right shoulder. So they're going to have to tend to that right now. They don't want to lose him. He's one of the best players on their defensive ball club right now. We'll be back. And uh, you go back home, look at your mistakes, and go back the next week. But a win makes everything feel that much better. Thomas Clayton scored the winning touchdown last week in San Diego. Gets this drive started with an 11 yard run. Thomas Clayton has really been impressive in these first two preseason games. He was a star last week with the 25 yard touchdown run. Here shows great patience, makes the one cut, and he's up in the hole, and then takes on a defensive back and ends up with positive yards after the run. That's exactly what you want to see out of your running back, and that's exactly what Thomas Clayton gave you right there. Tommy Guns, that's what he calls himself, showing off those biceps after the run. Clayton again. Good second effort. Falls forward for four. And that was all Thomas Clayton right there. He gets hit in the backfield by a Viking defensive lineman, but he bounces off of him and is able to get four yards on first down. So good tough running by Thomas Clayton as well as he showed you some elusive running last week in the open field. Under three minutes. But with all three timeouts, clock really not. Thomas Clayton into the open field and he'll score. Twenty-five yard run. Well, that's the old Tom Cable stretch run. And I know that makes him feel real good. Play side, backside, that's extremely well blocked. And it's a nice finish by Clayton. But it's a zone scheme. Everybody's gonna step with their left foot. They're going to try to give Clayton a chance to press it to the play side and watch him set his cuts up. There's that one cut right there, Ron. And Tom Cable is going to bring a lot to the Seattle running game with that play right there, the zone stretch play. And if they can run it right and left with this young offensive line, there'll be some nice bootlegs and play action passes for Tavares. What you can do on the sideline when you're out of the game and Charlie Whitehurst is in a quarterback. Here's Thomas Clayton cutting it back inside and Clayton with a nice run out to the 19 yard line. Actually I think that was Mike Williams on the sideline. Uh, Tavares is still in uniform. Was now. it really? Yeah. Well, that was my bad then. <laughs> I apologize. I would be surprised if he was out of his uniform in the second half. I've, I've seen guys take off their pads but I've never seen them take off their whole uniform in the second half. Well let's make sure we give Mike Williams credit since he was the one doing the dancing. Here's Clayton again. And Clayton picks up the first down. Out to the Completions of 23 and 16 and 20 on this drive. Back to Thomas Clayton. Stiff arm to the four. He took the helmet right off Ramon Broadway. I'm going to give us a chance to point out something else that they're looking at in the rules this year. You can stiff arm. That's very legal. That's still in the book. But if a running back puts his hand out there and grabs and twists the defender's face mask, mm. they're asking the officials to call that more this year on the running backs. That oh. one was clean. It was just straight. Yep. That was an old-fashioned <laughs> Mike Tyson left hand in the face right there. That's how you stiff arm when you're a running back. Pete Carroll said Jackson's the starter. Whitehurst is the backup because Jackson knows the system better. Whitehurst gets his first three. Run into knife and through the secondary. Well, in order for that to happen, the ball's got to be put in a pretty good location. You know, and so far we've not seen that tonight from Alex Smith. 
Here's Clayton bouncing it to the edge, and Clayton has wrestled down with a first down for San Francisco. Erlacher missed him, and Clayton picked up 11. Pretty good burst shown by Clayton since he's been in there. While we have seen some good things from Alex Smith, I don't think it's been at the level that we saw from J.T. O'Sullivan. And while the decision has not been... ...come alone and just find my own niche, uh, it just speaks, speaks volumes uh, for, for me. Oh, man, they getting out there. All right, no, we didn't let you go, bro. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, every time we ask him a question, looks like Thomas Clayton runs off on long one. I mean, that's the third double-digit run he's had on this drive. And they're running behind those two young guys on the right side, James Carpenter and also John Moffat, doing a nice job opening holes over there. And uh, Thomas Clayton just really taking advantage of the opportunity tonight every time he gets the football. 16 yards on that last run. Needs to get him to the 40 for the first. Under pressure. Almost picked off. That's about the first one he has missed all night. Tony Carter. Yeah, he, got his hands up. he shouldn't have missed that one, but uh, Pat Williams falls down on the play as he's coming across the middle. That ball would have been right in his chest. You can see Whitehurst in pain here after a hit, too. Well, he hung in there as good as you can as a quarterback. He took the shot and goes down, and, and that's where his receivers got to try and win. Tavares, you know, let him know that he's doing well. Uh, just those little things just to make sure that he, he knows that he's confident as a starting quarterback for, for the Seattle Seahawks. Big reception by Thomas Clayton and a huge gain afterwards. Picking up a first down across the 40. Taken into the locker room. Second down and eight for San Francisco. Clayton again cuts back and now it's a foot race and Clayton with a stiff arm tries to get in and does. A stiff arm of stealths and a touchdown for Thomas Clayton, and he has had a nice night at halfback for the 49ers. Well, he sure has, and good patience. You know, he started on that front side, cut it back. The offensive line does a good job of collapsing everything right there. They get a body on a body, and then you see all this space, and the defender there for Chicago on the outside, he collapsed too much, and he should have been there. That was Gaddis, the safety, who... Went with the flow of the running play and didn't stay home in order to protect in August. Bobby Gold kicks it away. And waiting for it is Alan Awesome again from inside the end zone. Takes it out for Sam. Together to see how that line comes off and get that timing. And then backs have to have that timing just like a, a quarterback and a receiver have to have it. Needing a yard, they bring in Thomas Clayton. And throw it to him out of the backfield. First down, the Seahawks. Five yards when they needed to be this deep in the preseason, two weeks in. I think we're pretty, uh, the defense, we're pretty far ahead. You know, uh, we're playing well together. Uh, have good years. I, you know, I keep saying it every year. At some point, Arizona's going to have a really good season. I, I think that they're poised this year to do that. And, and I'm interested in seeing what happens in Detroit with the Lions. You know, they were kind of knocking on the door. Didn't finish real well. Going to have a little different offensive philosophy this year, but I, I, I like them, too. That's Thomas Clayton. Whitehurst with time. Uh, stopping the run last year was a huge accomplishment, not just for myself, but for the D-line D as well. And for me to the place. I'm be the most prepared quarterback on the field and, and uh, just know the system inside and out and try to try to score points for our offense. How do you then relax and to you can to get information to them about how to make them better? And they're both in the game on short yardage as Thomas Clinton dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Clayton has become Mr. Short Yardage. His second rushing touchdown.